Day one for Kamala was three and a half years ago. Why hasn't she done it? Crime rates have skyrocketed over the past four years. A 12-year-old girl in Texas, a mother of five in Maryland, a nursing student in Georgia, all savagely murdered by those Biden and Harris led into our country unlawfully. It's a term we're very proud of, I must tell you. <laughs> Wave God. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. That ID page, man. Let's get straight to it. You're day one. There are a number of things on day one. On day one, day one priority. Let's Ready on day one. Kamala, day one was January of 2021. Day one, Yurt. Kamala was three and a half years ago. Why hasn't she done it? Crime rates have skyrocketed over the past four years. This just in, inflation is headed in the wrong direction. In June of 2022, inflation peaked at a high of 9.1%, which was the highest since November of 1921. We continue to see mass crossings without God any damn. resistance whatsoever. We continue to see mass releases and we continue to see Border Patrol completely outmanned. Harris was no a Trump quote, central member of the national security decision making team and Harris herself said she was the last person in the room. The NFIB's optimism index slipped again in March and has remained at recessionary levels for nearly a year. Where has she been and why hasn't she done it? Why hasn't she done it? man kamala harris failed weak and what else that said come on let me failed weak and dangerously liberal man now welcome back to the channel guys you know what i'm saying i know that was a heck of a intro that we had going on right there guys but we gotta show some of trump ass guys i ain't even gonna lie you know what i'm saying i ain't never voted for a president in my life man not even obama believe it or not you feel me i probably ain't even gonna vote this election but all i know is man the way that is looking with the way mainstream media is painting this election man it's, it's kind of crazy it's kind of delusional and it really has me worried for the country you feel me now i ain't saying you got to go out there and vote for trump or kamala you know what i'm saying all i'm saying is when you turn on 95 percent of these news stations they up here just telling you lies and selling you dreams and it just so happened to be you know in favor of kamala but it's just like, man, come on. Like, all, I've, I've been having to go to Fox News lately to get my news. I'm starting to get concerned. Maybe I'm getting brainwashed by Fox because I don't even know who to believe I hear. I don't know who's out here really telling the truth, doing good journalistic duties. So now it's basically up to me, you know what I'm saying, myself doing my independent research to come up here and, and basically figure it out for myself. And I ain't going to lie, these past few weeks... I've been thinking that Trump is obviously the best candidate. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not going to persuade anybody to go out there and vote. You do whatever you want. You feel me? Um, but the way it's looking right now, man, it's looking like Trump is going to come up on top. You feel me? Or come out on top. Now, the Democrats didn't hype Kamala up to the point where, man, she didn't hit her goddamn ceiling. It's no more going up from here. And I think New York Times just came out with a poll that showed Trump up 1%, which actually means, man, if that's the real national average, then Trump probably up by four or five points. You feel me? He probably up four or five points. The last two elections, man, they've been having Trump down the whole race and the nigga won the first one and barely lost the second one. So, you know, if they saying it's tied or a one point spread, you know it's going to be a goddamn blowout, probably in the favor of Trump, man. Now, just from what I've been seeing, if I was to vote, I would heavily be voting Trump right now just because we already had Trump as a president. Everything that Kamala and her little team is saying about Trump being a threat to democracy and, like, America's going to fucking end if he was the president. Like, why didn't it end the first time, like... It'd be like these outrageous propaganda lies that they be telling us like we fucking douchebags and assholes. And then it'd be Kamala Harris coming up here with all this goddamn flip-flopping on her policies and putting on these goddamn black accents, man, up here trying to relate to the regular goddamn folk. If you don't get up on that goddamn stage and talk like a college-educated motherfucking senator, congresswoman, vice president, whatever the fuck you is, I don't want to hear nothing about Megan collard greens and goddamn mayonnaise sandwiches, whatever the fuck you over there cooking up, Kamala. Stop. The, the thing about the Democrats, man, is they they favor the black people, but it just seemed heavily fucking racist. I just want to say, if I was a white man, you know what I mean? If I was a white man in America, man, I would not goddamn vote 
for Kamala Harris, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. But at the end of the day, man, I figure I come up here and react to some of these goddamn Trump ads that Trump got up on his Twitter page. That's all I wanted to do, people. That's all I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? The uh, debate is tonight. Let me tell y'all, we've been waiting on this goddamn debate. At least I know I have because I just want to see what's going to happen, you feel me? We seen Kamala first interview. It was full of shit, full of bullshit, but... I know I'm sounding like I'm heavily, heavily a Trump fan, but hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. Fuck it, I'm, I'm going for Trump this election, man. It's no more goddamn hiding it. I, I've been exposed to too many facts, guys. All I can say is go out there and do your own goddamn research, man. But we about to get in some more of these ads. Believe that. Kamala Harris was given one important job as vice president: the border, monitor and control our southern border. How can you vote? How did she do? Up top. Did she Hold on, because now we got to go through the goddamn points. Off top, look at the screen. 7.2 million illegals entered the U.S. Y'all know that number is fucking higher. It's like 10 million. It's people that's undocumented, unaccounted for. How could you vote for somebody who just goddamn disregarded her whole job as the vice president? She letting anybody into the goddamn country including terrorists not to mention and i ain't even trying to sound racist but motherfucking immigrants is out here killing goddamn people we got enough american on american crime in this motherfucker kamala harris was given one important job as vice president oh, monitor and control our southern border how did she do did she take the job seriously did she do all she could to protect american citizens from an invasion no did she do anything at all i don't think so. you haven't been to the border I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. For him to say, you ain't even been to the goddamn border. And her to say, I ain't been to Europe either. Like, what kind of goddamn answer was that? Like, how can we take this goddamn campaign serious, guys? She never has the goddamn right answers. Citizens from an invasion. Did she That's do anything at all? You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're it making. Thinks it's funny. Here's her grim scorecard: murders, rapes, attacks on Ooh. children. A 12-year-old girl in Texas. A mother of five in Maryland. A nursing. Shout out to goddamn uh, Jocelyn Nungare. You feel me? 12-year-old girl. Say shout out to all the victims out there. But I ain't gonna lie, that one right there hit close to home because that happened in Houston. You feel me? I know exactly where that shit happened. There, I passed by the reef. That they got on the side of the street for that little girl because I got family in the area where that little girl lost her life at, man. That's fucked up, you feel me? And I don't even think they ever talked to the family or, you know what I'm saying, apologize for letting these motherfuckers in without checking them or none of that shit, man. Like, they not even letting the goddamn good, the good citizens in this motherfucker. They letting the serial killer, psychopath, mental institutionalized motherfuckers in, bro nursing student in georgia all savagely murdered by those biden and harris led into our country unlawfully we have a secure border kamala harris was and is a complete failure at her job oh now she's asking us for a promotion <laughs> who in their right mind would give it to her restoration pack is responsible for the content of this advertising it is god damn man now that shit just made her look shitty guys that made her look horrible. Let's go to the next one because we ain't done yet, guys. Believe me. We about to get into it. Our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit a crime. <laughs> Police report as many as 75% of the people they've arrested in Midtown Manhattan for assault, robbery, and domestic violence are illegal migrants. Police have tracked down a killer whose crimes spanned the country. Rachel Marin was dragged from a hiking trail in Maryland where she was raped and murdered. Police say Brandon God Ortiz Vite used a handgun he bought illegally to shoot Ruby Garcia multiple times on Friday. The prime suspect charged in Lake and Riley's murder was 26-year-old Jose oh, Antonio like Riley, Abara. He illegally entered the United States back what in the 2022. What the fuck is up with the, the Texas what's up with the Venezuelans, man? The motherfucking Venezuelans is violent than the motherfucker. And did y'all see the, 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 what's that, Ohio? They talk about the Haitians is eating cats and shit, my nigga. Kamala Harris ain't even never been to the fucking border. She was in charge of that motherfucker, man. This is outrageous. I really think this election is about to be a blowout, guys. 
Texas grand jury indicted Rafael Govea Romero. He's accused of attacking 16-year-old Lizbeth Medina by repeatedly hitting her head and stabbing her. And then predatory, guys. Just preying on goddamn kids. Preying on 12-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds. Jesus Christ. But every time I see one of these grown goddamn immigrants fucking with some adults, they getting their ass beat. That's the crazy part. Our notions together about what we're talking about. This is psychopathic, bro. She is like the fucking Joker, guys. She is like the real life Joker. Bidenomics is working. It's a term we're very proud of, I must tell you. Oh my God. Because Bidenomics is working. It's working. Bidenomics. Now, pay attention to her saying that Bidenomics is fucking working, right? Now, when this debate happened, she better not be trying to separate herself from none of that Bidenomics bullshit she talking, man. Don't be trying to separate separate yourself from your boy Biden. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been the man one supporting all that shit. Bidenomics. Wow. Just lie to our face, guys. And Bidenomics is working. All of this is part of our blueprint together for what America can be. This is Bidenomics. Bidenomics. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, that laugh is evil. That is called Bidenomics. That laugh is evil, guys. If I ever heard an evil laugh in my life, Kamala has that mug down pat, guys. I ain't gonna lie. We ended right there because Trump got them cooking her ass on Twitter. You feel me? Trump cooking her on Twitter. He got way more followers than her, guys. He already ran the country for four years, was the president. You know what I'm saying? They made it out to be like it was the worst goddamn term in history. But then we went through these past three and a half years and we see, goddamn, it can't get no worse than this. You know what I'm saying? We'd rather go back than have a goddamn woman that was second in charge of the current goddamn administration. She want to do all this goddamn shit about the border now, want to talk about tough on the border. You ain't even want to go visit that motherfucker, man. You ain't even want to go visit it. She done changed her positions on goddamn fracking and energy. She done goddamn became a full-time black person. I seen so many videos of goddamn Kamala Harris cooking up some fucking Indian curry, man. She running around this goddamn shit with Mindy. Y'all know Mindy, the little Indian chick from TV, man? In that motherfucking kitchen whipping up Indian food. Now, all of a sudden, you want to talk about how you cooking some goddamn collard greens and shit, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm going to tell y'all, the debate tonight, man. Y'all tune into that shit. If you got, if you want to ask me right now, Wave God got his money on Trump, you feel me, for the election. Like I said, I ain't voting. I ain't telling y'all to vote. But I'm saying, based on what I see and the facts being presented and the way the media is presenting everything, you feel me, I'm going to say Trump is going to be the next president, you feel me. And I hope he's the next president. Or y'all just going to have another continuation of Biden, guys. Let's not forget, Kamala Harris was just one of the worst fucking voted pre vice presidents in history, you know. She just got endorsed by goddamn Putin, guys. She got endorsed by Putin and Dick Cheney, who goddamn led America into the most unnecessary fucking war in history. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Big Wave got made this boy Ted. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Until next time, we out of here.